You know what? You can never have too many damage upgrades, so that's what we're gonna keep stacking today. I'm sure the enemies will appreciate that in a very big way. And luckily I've had so much coffee I can actually see the future, so they have no chance at all. We're gonna bully the one in the middle because he's usually the strongest, but in this case they're all the same, so we'll just go ahead and um, give him a little bonk. We're also gonna have a bubble to protect us, that's gonna absorb a lot of damage. Yeah, that's much easier now. Now we can worry about just murdering them one at a time. And I killed all three of them at once. And then we get some new items. New shoes and gloves. Which are actually better than what we're wearing. They're even on a page beyond our old gear. And we have the option to fight something difficult. So I'm going to bring a meat shield to deal with that. They're really not here to do anything aside from absorb damage. These enemies do have almost half a million HP so they're not going to be that easy to deal with. My friend hits for 45,000, I hit for 211,000, so it's really not as bad as it seems. A wild mushy. We need to get our damage up to one-shot these things again. I'm going to go ahead and stun the one in the middle because I assume it's going to be something difficult. Uh, while we're at it, we're also just going to go ahead and uh, kill that thing. I sometimes forget that I have other options, like I can bow and arrow these things. Not for a ton of damage, but I can do that on like half turns. And then we're going to fight the guy with the mohawk and the big sword. He has 2.4 million HP. So we're going to go ahead and stun him. I'm going to uh, absorb some damage with my thing. Then we're just going to wail on him. I did manage to counter him there. We only hit him with the bow and arrow, so it didn't do that much. But we'll be fine. Okay, we're going to poison arrow him just because he's going to survive for a few turns. So we might as well uh, let him have it. Got a nice crit on him there for half a million. He critted my friend to death. But uh, we're going to have this one under wraps. Hopefully that made us really rich also because that was not an easy fight. We got a whole bunch of stuff and some more armor. That did actually give us a lot of platinum coins. We're just going to go ahead and equip the vest, none of which is really that groundbreaking. Then we can upgrade our uh, something some more, so we're maybe going to go with damage. You can never have too much damage. Back at home base, we're going to feed my mushroom some clovers, and that's going to give us even more money and experience. We can't quite afford the new weapons, but we can afford the ranged weapons. It's only uh, 0.2 platinums. Then I want more crits, so we're going to dodge getting poked by this stick for a little while. And this one is somehow strangely very satisfying, even with his new annoying twirly stick move. And after trying to avoid this guy's poking for a few minutes, we've got a lot of extra skill points. Oh, yeah. That leveled us up a whole bunch of times and took us halfway through rank gold. So I mean, why stop there? It might as well just go the other half of the way. Many pokings later and we might have the stats we need to level up again. And we have more than enough. We have a heal skill, which is going to be good. We're well into platinum now. That probably leveled us up quite a few times. We went from 64 all the way up to 68. I'm definitely going to put some points into heal. I put three points into heal, and then I'm going to put the rest of my points, stat points, into defense. I've got 3,400 to spend. I hate training defense, so that's why we're doing defense. While I was spending all the time training, my investments should have piled up here at the museum. So I fed the mushroom enough to get me another level up. That added a bunch of platinum, plus half a platinum in the investment money itself. And then I'm going back to murdering the wildlife. Where you're going to be doing a little bit more damage than before, but not a ton. The main thing is we have a heal skill available and our crits are going to be bigger. Quite a bit bigger. 509,000 is not a bad bit of damage at all. And we're going to fight the goblin Doc apparently. So we'll go ahead and give him a little bonk and then we'll murder his helpers. I'm not sure what our crit chance is, but we're doing it a lot. I like how he's getting in the fight, so he brought a crown to try and protect him. That's not going to save him when I smash my big mace into his head. He is annoyingly able to heal through a lot of his damage, so I should probably kill the healer. I'm just being lazy and trying to get away with not doing that. Oh, never mind. I got a crit on him for 510,000. We're going to counter this guy really hard, and then we're going to murder him with the mace. That gave us a new ring, which is potentially very valuable. Damage plus 20, yes. And then with all of our extra points, we're going to put those into defense for now, because it's super, super, stupid to train. But that battle also gave us the money we need for soul sorcerer weapons. So we're going to add like 20% damage on top of our rings 20% damage. So we're going to do about 40% more damage. And I have a new idiot I can hire, so why not? Come on with me. We both have red armor and big swords. We're friends. They have 550,000 HP. He does 50,000. I missed my crit, but that was 400,000 on a non-super crit. I just did 600,000 on an actual crit. I missed it because I double clicked because I had too much coffee. Ooh, he's got a protection thing. Still did $150,000 through his bubble. The bubble does work good, but I have one too, so if we need help, we can bubble ourselves. There's two of them here, so we're going to go ahead and swipe them both to knock their health down, and hopefully they don't bubble, because it's just annoying. And he bubbled. Well, that's okay, because his friend is about to die. My friend is being a good meat shield. I think the enemy's able to confuse him, so he hurts himself. Can't uh, think of any other reason why he'd be doing that. I'm going to stun this guy, so that he doesn't bubble himself. 
Look at him, he's still stunned. He's never gonna wake up. We're just gonna murder him. Mm, we got new armor. We're gonna be even tougher. I've also maxed out my healing skill because I feel like that's gonna do us a lot of good. Then I'm also gonna equip all my better armor, even though it's wizard clothes. And then we're gonna take on another tough fight. The last one was also tough, but this one so far is a bat. I'm not that worried about the bats, especially when we're sneak attack yet like that. As per usual, I'll just let my damage do all the work. I don't need skills, I just need time. I like how they always focus on my friend. He's been poisoned three times, so he's just sitting there slowly getting sicker and sicker. Well, we're fine. We don't have to do a thing. Okay, we're gonna fight three of them. I'm probably gonna stun the mushroom because uh, I feel like he's just gonna take the longest to kill. Okay, he's got a lot of HP actually, so we need to get started on killing these. I'm also gonna put a protective bubble on myself, uh, just because I'm a little worried about surviving this. These guys are definitely getting stronger. Can we uh, counter that? Nope, that's okay. The mushroom has left his stun, but we hit them both. We're going to focus on the little guy first because we can heal ourselves through some damage. My friend has left us. He's off to a better place. I know he technically did just die for us, but he takes up so much time. I'd rather just 1v1 these things. And for our trouble, we got another ring and a bunch of good loot. Burn duration? We don't burn anything. I don't think so, at least. I would enjoy burning things. I'm just not allowed to. Feeding the mushroom god as well, almost 50 platinum. That means we should probably upgrade this because we're only making 52 gold a day. We're better off investing that upgrading the training camp, which is going to get expensive quickly, but every point is actually going to make a pretty good difference because we're going to spend a lot of time training in the future. And our little house should also get some upgrades. Eventually it will be finished. For now, this is going to add extra experience to us, which means we level up all the quicker. I just spent a long time cutting apples in half. So hopefully that's going to increase my damage quite a ways. But we got all the way up to here in damage, and that's got to be a lot of levels. 71 to 77, 78, 79. Which gives me 4,000 points, which is actually almost enough to get this up to platinum. We're very close. Then we can add some more damage for our super crits. And then it's time to go back to murdering. We killed that guy really, really quick, because we're just doing a lot of damage now. Almost 500,000 on a regular hit. So, uh, 1.6 million on a crit. 1.6 million on a crit, and I feel like we're doing a lot of crits at this point, so that feels pretty good. And we counter crit as well. These guys are so great because they come at me so simply with basically no good attacks, so we can just counter and destroy them in one hit. See, it's all about the damage. This guy's a orc warrior king. I don't know what he is, but he's also going to die pretty quickly. And, well, one more hit and he should be dead. Uh, we'll block his hit and dead. So we'll just go ahead and continue on our rampage. I'm really annoyed I can't kill these in one hit. But I guess he can't have it all in life. This damage makes everything so easy. That's probably a sign that we're going to need some more. But first we're going to feed our mushroom. That also leveled us up. So now our defense is getting leveled up. And that unlocked a skill. Chance that your allies benefit from your heal and shield skills. Yeah, why not? I added a little bit of damage to the training camp. And it was definitely enough to level me up. It actually gave me over 2,000 points. I didn't realize how much that was. So we'll just put that back into damage again. Because why wouldn't we? Then I'm going to hire one of the idiots, probably the one with the big sword. I also spend a bit of money to get a better bow and throwing knife. And now it's time to go back to work with the murdering. These guys have about 700,000 HP, so I can't quite one-shot them, but I can pretty close to one-shot them. Plus, I brought my friend here to absorb some damage. Not that we're necessarily going to mean it, need it. Our crits are now up to 1.8 million. Even a regular attack for 600,000 now. That used to be a crit. Now there's three of them, one of which is pretty big, so we are going to uh, almost one-shot him. We countered the little guy and we gave him a big... Okay, he's going to die rather quick. Uh, I took my hand off the keyboard for a second, but we're going to sweep attack all these guys and not quite kill them all. But we're going to take a big chunk out of them. Uh, he's also healing himself, so I'm going to do the same. I wanted to see how big I could heal, and it's at least 300,000. These battles are getting annoying just because the enemies can heal themselves and that takes way too long. I might need more damage still. Or just to play smarter. In this treasure chest, we got a new shield, some clovers, and a whole bunch of money. Then on to the next fight, which involves at least three idiots. We're going to focus on a shaman as quick as we can because he's going to heal and prolong this battle. Those two went down quick. He'll follow behind. Orc shaman again. We're hopefully just going to get a crit on him. Shaman down. We're going to counter this guy. One little hit should have him dead for me. My friend doesn't do enough damage. And now we're fighting this big dummy. My friend gave him a hit. We're going to go ahead and stun him. And then we're going to hopefully finish off the other idiots. I'm going to cast some defense just in case because I feel like these guys could add up, add up to some damage. But we'll see for sure. We got one of them almost dead already, so that feels nice. My friend has also taken some heat, but um, that's fine. I don't really care. Uh, he has 4.5 million HP, so we should probably start killing him. And he has the bubble thing. That's so annoying. 
I guess we can heal ourselves too though, so it's not going to be the end of the world. It's just going to take a long time. And he hits pretty hard with his lightning bolt attack. I've healed myself, didn't heal my friend, but that's okay. He's a friend for hire anyway, you really don't need to take care of those. Got a nice counter on him, so that took a big chunk out of him. Kinda sucks that he had his bubble up, but what can you do about that? If we get a crit, uh, a good crit, that could have almost killed him. I did manage to slip and counter that, but he still got 1.4, yeah, it's getting down there at least. Gonna try and counter him, he's dead, 1v1. Well, 2v1 we'll call it, but uh, you know what, that's fine. Dodge that, and you know what, we're gonna stun him, he's getting annoying. Perfect. One more little hit, he's dead. Turns out that was a chapter 3 boss, I had no idea. He seemed a little bit difficult, but not that bad. Because I want more damage and I've only got 2400 stat points to go, I'm going to upgrade the stats here, that way every time I do level up we get even more stats, and then enjoy cutting apples and whatever people throw at me for a little while. I've been battered by apples for the past hour, but we should be able to rank up to whatever's beyond platinum, rank Soul Master. And I even went up to almost 51,000 and the bar didn't even show, so I assume to get to the next level is 100,000. And I got 2,000 points to spend, so I'm going to spend it on defense. And then I'm obviously going to put some points into Omni Soul. And now we have some new types of morons to kill, but we're doing 604,000 damage on a regular shot. So crits are going to be a lot. 1.9 million. And these guys should drop lots of money and fun armors. That one's a little hard to counter, but I got him. Same thing, got him, countered, one hit. This is a Crescent Assassin, so didn't counter him, but he dead. Oh, he's really dead. And then another one of those, I'm going to use whatever this attack does. Supposed to attack several times in succession or something. Uh, yep, that's several million in damage. He's dead. So why stop there? We got damage for days. I definitely am annoyed I'm not one-shotting these, but I'm not going to complain that much. We're still doing plenty of damage. I think what I'm going to like best to get, uh, about this Omni Slash thing is I'm pretty much going to be able to one-shot even the big guys for now. Because that guy had 3 million HP. He's down to 2 now, but uh, we're going to go like that, and he's out of HP. And then we fire an arrow over his head, just for good measure. This guy had me down to a little bit of HP, half, but I could have healed anyway. And for our trouble, we get a whole bunch of clovers and money. So we're going to go back and feed our mushroom, just in case he wants to give us a lot. Kind of like that. Turns out we've had more than enough money to buy Dragonbone weapons for a while. So that's going to add an extra 15% damage, and just give us a way better sword. So let's bring along our favorite idiot, and then get right back to work. 900,000 HP crab. We can take out 700,000 in one hit. Lucky for us though, there's a second crab. But our new uh, weapon gives us a 2.2 million damage crit, and now we're also fighting turtles on the beach. They have a better million HP, which really isn't that intimidating. Then we're going to fight the King Turgeon, as he's called. Uh, he's really just a turtle. So we're going to go ahead and just Omni attack him. That means we just hit him with everything we got. And that didn't actually kill him. They're getting tough. But uh, my next sword strike probably will. And we found out that Sapphires come after Platinums. So we're going to hire our companion again. Because I'm going to fight these guys. These are a three-star difficulty. So this should be really, really hard to do. But that's why I brought my meat shield. Oh, and I missed my first crit. That's not a good start to this fight. But she actually has a lot of HP. She's pretty tough, so she's probably the one I should be bringing. Okay, we got an early hit. Uh, intern pirate died quickly. So far, this doesn't feel like a three-star battle. There's two of them. The interns tend to die fairly easily, as interns do. Managed to counter that one, so they're both going to die really easily. I chalked this up to having lots of damage, and this is the final wave, so all we got to do is fight you. So I'm just going to uh, Omni attack, whatever it's called. Take off most of your HP, follow up with an arrow for good measure, but we're also going to counter you. She's going to stab. This is supposed to be a three-star difficulty. So far, this is just easy. And a good reward for that, I got new shoes. Okay, the shoes are not only better, they are two steps better. We went right over Dragonbone straight to shoes. Next, I'm going to fight uh, guys with 4.2 million HP. That's why I took a double damage potion so we could hit for 1.3 and hopefully actually kill them because they hit very, very hard. But I'm going to sweep in and hit them all for big damage and I'm going to use my super attack. I probably should have dodged that. Didn't realize that was aimed at me. But luckily my friend there is absorbing damage. Wow, these guys are really, really strong. Got one of them. But if I don't dodge this, I'm dead. Uh, that did actually hit me apparently, so that's not great. Dodge. Oh, we countered it. Okay, good. We might actually have this. We need to, uh, dodge and stun the other one. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, take a heal potion. Yeah, I might actually have this because he's gonna die. I dodge his attack. 
I forgot I had a skill to make myself tougher too, but whatever the case, we just defeated the legendary hunters. And that gave me presumably a legendary hunter set of armor. Which makes it almost an entirely better set, except for the shoes that are already better. That means we can actually afford buccaneer weapons for 22 gems. Then I should also buy dragon boned ranged weapons. That again is going to give me a, a huge damage increase. Also going to spend some money investing in the museum at this point, because now we're going to get 4.5 platinums every day. Okay, let's see how this sword does against turtles. So far so good. I think I'm going to need more HP at some point though. But we're also going to find out, okay, there's multiple crabs here as you could probably see. I'm going to put up some defenses first and foremost. That's going to help keep me a little bit alive while I find out what's on cooldown or not, which is not a very fun process right now because we're getting destroyed. But that crab is also destroyed and we're going to try and heal ourselves. Just got to try and not die. Might have actually gotten away with that because, yep, we're healed so we should be safe now. The problem is we're running out of blocks and dodges, so we just have to tank these hits. Okay, we tanked him, and we can stun him now, so all we gotta do is murder him. Which we will. 2.5 million damage on a crit. Look at all the sapphires we just got and a new ring. A few pokes with a stick later, hopefully we've actually gotten a little bit of stats. This will mean more critical hit chance. Takes a long time to build that one up. We're fighting something called a Forkser. But also, we're doing about 800,000 damage with a regular attack by this point. So that's pretty fun. Long story short, everyone on the boat has died. I did get a captain ring and create super mega chance for special and bash. I just realized the ring I was using isn't 20% damage increase, it's sorcery damage, which we don't want. So we're going to throw the captain ring on. And then we're going to fight this guy on the beach. He had about 6 million HP, but that's about to go down quite a bit. Because we're going to hit him with all that. Now he has 2 million. Now he's stunned and he's going to have to sit there and watch his friends be murdered alive. Then it doesn't really matter at this point. We're so far ahead in this fight, we can pretty much do whatever. We'll focus on the guy without the shield. And look who decided to wake up finally, just in time. And I got new pirate armor. And that brings us to Captain Hardwind. I think I got a pretty good strategy for dealing with them. 13,300,000 HP, huh? That's actually a lot. Alright, well, we're gonna hit him with our super attack at double damage, and now they're down to 6.6 .6 million at least, so that's something. Uh, I've also managed to counter his friend and one-shot his friend, so that's a good start. He hit both of them. I've knocked out the captain for a sec. We're gonna dodge that, counter that. I'm gonna double hit them, and then it's just us and the captain to deal with. I'm gonna put my shield up because I feel like the captain's gonna hit hard if they wake up. But we might have made this look easy thanks to our phenomenal damage. Can I get a crit? Nope, regular hit. 800,000. I'll take it. That could have hurt a lot. And Captain Hardwind is about dead. Didn't counter that properly, but it's a thought that counts. Dead. And that ends the Act 4 boss. Give me the loot and get out of my way.